Welcome back to my reviews. I was going to do a uh, list of items I've picked up recently. There hasn't been that many, but um, I was also going to do a video on these guns. So I think this time I'll stick to the guns and then uh, do a short video on my recent finds. This one here is a dinky, um, part of the Battle Line series, and they call it the Pack 40. It's a 50 millimeter anti-tank gun. I like it because of the gray wheels and this gray uh, flash reducer here. Got a lot of the same features as the Britain's 88mm uh, artillery piece. Trail closes up nicely. And it is a firing gun. Lock it in like that. Got some nice lines to it. I'd like to get a crew for this one somehow. Now oh, here's the Britain's 88. Next to this one. Not too much different, but you can see uh, even the size of the breech and the 88 is, is bigger in the model. So, two nice guns though. And I got my uh, order of spare parts back a while ago, actually a few days ago. And this piece came in for the Kuba wagon. A little folded canopy. That completes that right there. A nice towing unit for that gun. And I got some of the parts for the uh, Commando Jeep by Dinky that I needed to uh, have to complete my project on it. If you remember the one, that's the one there. So I should be able to complete that project soon. I might, I'll do a short video on that when I do my recent finds, I think. And on the end of my last video, I believe I promised to uh, do a review on this 88mm flat gun by Dinky Toys, which I had recently picked up at the time. Now this one was, I believe, part of the Battle Line series too. And it's number 656. eighty-eight millimeter flat gun. And it was in the series from 1975 to 79. It also came out in a numbered as a set, number 668. And it was a mobile gun with crew. And that was in 1978 to 
I think I showed some of the crew in that video. But here they are again, just in case I didn't, you didn't see them. There's the officer. Gun layer, I guess. And loader. Just plastic. I mean, they're uh, pretty fragile, these guys. And I looked in a book, they were listed as three, three crew members in that set, so... Here's the three, I guess. So I'll put these aside for now and let you see the gun. See it elevates and uh, there's the tow bar there. Well treaded tires though. Got a decal there, I don't know. Some kind of rider on a horse. And one on the back fender. I think what I'm going to do is um, finish off my commando jeep get all the parts uh, fixed up and put together and get it together and then uh, finish this video off with that so I'm not doing a separate one for the Jeep so I'll see you when that time comes and um, have a good day and thanks for watching this part of my video Well, welcome back to the uh, second part of this video, I guess. And I've got the parts laid out here that you get when you order them for the Commando Jeep. There's three of these jerry cans. Two plug in on the hood and one plugs in in the back. plastic jerry cans uh, and you get two machine guns drum feed in black plastic and you get a blanket roll that goes on the hood in front of the windshield steering wheel and an aerial for the back mine was missing the hub for the spare tire at the back so I had to order that and the tire which is a nice rubber
shredded tire. And it just says heavy duty on the one side and nothing on the other. And I had to order the windshield too, it was snapped off. And I've already painted that. And the driver, my other version, I didn't, he didn't have a helmet. It uh, wasn't even, didn't even have a removable helmet. So this one has a helmet molded right on. And I've painted it the same color as the windshield. It's a Tamiya um, Olive Drab 2. Number TS28. I masked off the painting they had done. I guess Steve Flowers model supplies. So I masked off the hands and face, and I'm going to go over it with my own flesh tone. And the reason I painted the figure was the plastic coloring was kind of an olive drab but it was blotchy so I painted it over it and I wanted to make I wanted the color to be a little more uniform across the figure so then I'll paint my own flesh tone on the hands and face and the helmet was a gloss gloss green of some sort didn't look good so I gotta finish that up. Probably paint his boots too, I guess. And get it all together and then this should be a transformed vehicle. Time I'm finished. So we'll see you then. Well, welcome back to my reviews. And this one here is pretty well set to go. I had a few issues with that windscreen fitting properly. And um, just to let you know, if you, if you do one of these Jeeps, and be careful with that windshield because it's white metal and it bends quite easily. Almost like it was too wide, I had to shave a bit off with a file on either side, but it still didn't seem to be quite right. Finally got it and used some uh, <clears throat> five minute epoxy, or actually this stuff. Two tubes, one of resin, one of hardener, and they uh, they say it's a six-minute dry period. So I guess they couldn't use the five-minute trademark or something. Anyways, it um, has turned out not too bad. I didn't paint the Jeep at all. going to be uh, supposedly part of a commando unit. See it would get roughed up pretty good. So the first thing we got to put on here is a blanket roll. It's on the hood here. Snaps in. And some jerry cans. Just 
two on the front. Might have to glue those in. And one on the back. Yeah, they don't they don't go in like my other ones on the original. They kind of snap in on that one. And then we got the guns. There's the rear jerry can fell off. So yeah, a bit of glue is going to have to happen there. And the other gun for the rear. There's the aerial. It's a pretty good fit. Spare tire. I had to cut some of that stem off. It was too long for this uh, repro wheel. So I think I'm going to have to glue that on too. And finally, the driver. This gun here is supposed to go through the windshield, I guess. So obviously that windshield is too high or too low. Anyways, I'll work on that later. So you can see it's not a bad looking model. A little fiddling around with some stuff, but um, other than that, it's all right. That's the Dinky Commando Jeep number 612 in the series. Got another order gone in today for parts, and I'll be doing a review on the uh, vehicles I'm going to fix up. And toys. It's not too many, but you should be able to make a video out of it. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.